Hello guys, what's good? I go by name is Cole Springs and if you are new to my channel, welcome. So guys, I'm doing a reaction to Sarkodis Freestyle on Sirius X XM. I think apparently that should be a radio station. And um, guys, uh, let's just check out how Sarkodis did it or how he used to do it. Or how he always does it or online, you know? Um, guys, um, let's go. Let's see how Sarkodis does it on Sirius XM. Amazing Freestyle. Let's go. The best of the best, East Coast Springs. I know it's better than the rest. East Coast Springs, the rapping no one contest. East Coast Springs. Checking out Renato Romain. Renato Romain, good. <laughs> what else? Ah. Uh, okay. Man, that was a rap. You push me from the ghetto up to the pinnacle. I will never ever stop. Bought me your house, got me your car. Survived all my niggas on the block. Okay. Now I'm taking over everybody move back cause I'm heading to the top <laughs> And now I don't give it what else uh, Pull up in my S550 So we hear my friend my manager I'm so busy Started from the bottom and I brought my boys with me Me not cash me with fees but I'm still skinny okay. Be flown up into Wagana but I'm still greedy Mali Kutunu my lavish day to last giddy Cashing up uh, Hold up hold up Okay You can see that he's freestyling from his head because you can see those bricks those when it's when the rapper is freestyling and he's breaking like that you could tell that oh he's off the top he didn't write it it's from his head so that's why those pauses are there because his brain is trying to process new words to use to rhyme and just flow you can see his delivery is amazing and he's just doing it well man you have to give him kudos for going off the top let's go hey let's go listen <laughs> uh still trying to figure out how i'm gonna make it do i gotta speak english I hate it. I wish y'all could understand <laughs> my language because it's beautiful. So y'all can call me the greatest. Um, she said that do I don't have to speak English because he raps very well in Twee. He said I hate it. He hates speaking English in his rap. So he's trying to figure out how he's going to do it. So you can tell it's off the top because he's basically talking about what's happening and what's ongoing at that point. So you have to give him kudos for that. Let's go. You know, when I listen to Kendrick, spit real bars and keeping a hundred, I'm like, damn, I really know I can do it and do it better if I got to speak in my language. Oh. <laughs> then I listen to J. Cole. <laughs> then I listen to Big Sean. Okay. You know, only if they know. All I got to work on is the flow and the dick, Sean. African spit real, African flow. See, I'm taking my time. I'm taking everything slow. Hold up. Taking everything slow. But let me talk to you for a second. Ah, uh, see, I like the way we're doing it. Fisa way I'm a damn for but I'll be screwing it. Oh, that's a friend of mine, cause I never boo in it. And that's the way to go. So I don't see when it like one thing I like about um Sakodi and I've always liked about Sakodi is his courage. He carries himself well anywhere he goes. Whether he was young, a young up and coming rapper, just newly blown, he has always carried himself with so much dignity and respect. And you have to respect him for that. And you can see he's flowing on the mic, he's freestyling basically, and he's still having that courage. Speaking his indigenous language, he's speaking to his rapping into it, and he's still having that courage. So how you respect the way you respect yourself is how other people will treat you. And he's giving himself that respect and that proper courage, man, on the mic. And come on, you have to just respect this guy. Let's go. God damn it. <laughs> Friends with benefit. Picture near your class in red pick. What down for name beggar say what boy in the Benedict to boy in the table call my brother report to a head office. I got you. Ah, what are friends for? Hope a crowd for me, yeah, mentor. I just want to be a song, I'm a tongue, I'm a yentor. We're born in the crown, and man, you sure said, now will you suit handcuffs and hands forth? You know, what is left for me to do? Because I've been doing this back and forth. I took a chance for y'all niggas. I'm sick and tired. I want to step it up. I don't follow your rules because I'll be part of the lawbreakers. I want to step it up. I don't follow your rules because I want to be part of, because I'm part of the lawbreakers. So basically, he doesn't follow rules. He does it the way he wants to do it. Let's go. My mama told me, ah, okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sir. Come on, sir. You gave me like a full record right there. I love it. It's Sarko D and Hip Hop Nation. Uh -huh. That was an exclusive. I'm Renato Romain, your ear candy. Hip Hop Nation. Let go. I am dying to go to Africa, Sarko D. When? Whenever. Ah. Oh. Let's move when I'm going back. I'm going back on the 14th. Let's go. Uh, do you you don't live in Ghana anymore? Do you? I do. Oh, you do. That's where you get inspiration. You can't move from there. Ah, oh, because I know a lot of artists. You know, once they blow up, they like nah. to move. They they move to the to London. The things I see here in the states or anywhere else, yeah, might change my topics. Might change my thinking, which I don't know if I'm if I'm ready for. Because I want to bring my. I like that. I like the fact that I said that it's not going to move. That um um the environment can influence his message and his topic and that's the truth 
um, Sakodi reps Ghana to the fullest, he reps Africa to the fullest. So, um, if he moves over to the States, it can affect his um, topic, his theme, his message that he passed through his music. And he knows that. And for him to know that, he knows that he's a very um, goal oriented rapper, someone that knows his focus and knows his theme and knows his purpose in music and how his influence and where he stands. So, that's why I just, I really admire Sakodi. Like, let's go, let's just, let's just continue watching my story from africa and i want to be there and see yeah what's going on so i can feel like that yeah yeah the bad thing is i never write verses when i'm here which is bad really i, I want to go back and write verses you know? what, what is your story um i came up of course you know you have that story here where people talk about the bottom in in the states that's like we live in high class back in africa we i talk know, about the bottom know, in africa we're talking about the real bottom i know that's right the, bo know, so. the, the bottom <laughs> in ghana is like living in huts well like, <laughs> no. you know, so start, started from that point till today yeah is people people are tired of me saying i don't believe i'm here but you can't blame me this is me coming from that point to here look at me talking to you right i'm serious yeah you know so it's that's my story actually that's where i round up my whole when you listen to new, new guy i was like um i'm the new guy you I'm are the new guy back in africa but most of my niggas committed suicide you feel me yeah you know so that's happening in africa but i was able to move from there to here so that's like um my story now your dialect is called tiwa tree tree it's Dave, just... you messed it up wait 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 you wait, wait, tell me tea? what did you say wait, how do you think it's spelled t-w-a no t-w-a is t-w-i tweet it's t-w-i oh okay so they, they messed it up so it's tree Sorry. tree you can't tweet say Tweet. Okay, tweet. I can manage that. Tweet. I can manage that. That's what you're always saying. <laughs> but it's tweet. Tweet. Now, do you tweet. do you plan to try tweet. and um, make music uh, not in your native tongue, but just in regular English? Mm. Yeah. Is it difficult for you? Because I know that English is your second language. It is. It is difficult in the sense that I am a true artist. What I say is very real. Yeah. And emotions are connected to it. Yeah. If I should be pissed off in English. I might not be able to express, express it too, too well to you. Give me an example. I like that. So it's not like he can't rap in English, but to express himself to that point that you can connect with emotionally, he has to do it in his indigenous language because that is what he knows how to use to express himself to the fullest. It's not like Sakodi can't rap in English. For crocodile loud, most of his song right now, you can hear that he does a lot of English, then it goes back to tree. Can get that in a song, so you can't. The people that say that Sakodi can rap, rap in English, rap in English. Come on, guys! English is a broad language for us Africans. Our indigenous language is first. Me, that I'm talking to you guys. I, I'm not really good in my indigenous language, and it pains me sometimes when I say that. Uh, but come on, when you have to give him proper respect for the fact that he can combine these two guys, these two languages, three and English, and he'll give you. Um, his message to the fullest. You can emotionally connect to that message. You can tell what he's saying. So, so all those haters that are always going to tell that rap in English, rap in English. Come on, guys, you guys should calm down and stop that. Let's continue. I don't know. I, I, Just you can put me on the spot. Say that's, any, that's emotion. Say like, anything. I need, be, I need to be. Say something. In, say something in in Twi. Twi. And I should say it in English. Yeah. Um, is it is it hard to translate? Nah. No, but I, I feel like it sounds real when I say it in tree. Okay. I relate more. Say, Renata, you're the best thing on the radio. <laughs> say that in... in, in um, you know again? Renata. 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 Yeah. Renata. Yeah. Okay, so Renata. Wo, wo na wotis wo radio so. I like that. Mm. <laughs> but if I say it in English, you might feel like I'm just... I don't feel it. You understand? So right. as a poet, I wouldn't like to dilute or anything like with my message i yeah. like to keep it as it is i would rather want six people to really feel the music than to impress thousands yeah so i will keep it the, the, the way i want to keep it is it would rather um want six people to feel the music than impress thousands so he knows his purpose and his goal in his music uh, so he doesn't care if the international fans are impressed all he just wants is people that can connect to his music and feel it you know that emotional connection to what he's saying then those ones will appreciate it more. Not the other, ah, I like how it raps with English. Ah, man, that's good, that's good. But they will never emotionally connect to the message or to what he's saying. But those people that can connect to him indigenously are the ones that he's really going for. And that's why he said that he doesn't get inspiration when he leaves Ghana. Come on. Like, I should be doing reactions to more interviews, man. 
Um, I don't even, I don't know. This interview is 14 minutes long, so I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish it. But where I see that, okay, there's nothing much to do. Then I'll stop it there. Let's go. Remember when you heard new guy, you loved it. Yes, that's the general idea. That's what I did to Africa because Africa don't speak tree throughout. Right. They some speak French, French. some speak English. Yeah, but then yeah. if they if they rate me as one of the top five best MCs of all time, yeah, that should tell you something. So I had a plan. So uh -huh. let me give you a gist of my secret. What I do is I know you would understand what I'm saying. So what I do is I, I go with delivery and timing. Good timing. That sounds good to the ear for you to listen to. This is what a pro rapper is giving us is his style. A pro rapper is giving us some hints here. It's really upcoming rappers. You guys should watch interviews and learn. Learn to plan your music, construct your schemes in a way that you can connect to as many audiences as, as as much as possible. They can relate to what you're saying. Not just come here and be this and be that and be that and be that. Come on, guys. Let's learn. Let's go. You know what I love about African men? It's like this confidence you guys have. Ooh, where so, yeah. does that come from? You guys walk with an air. Tell them. Tell them, babe. You feel it too? You feel it too? We are proud from where we come from. We are proud of our roots. That's why we work with that aura. Let's go. I didn't even know that. You got the swag about yourself. That's, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Cody. You can relate because you, 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 you us, you know. Of course. No, that's, that's where we rap. And I think we have, we have the swag. Yeah. You can say that. Yeah, you yeah. Know, when it comes to timing and everything, we, we got it. Yeah, so yeah. You saw what I just did? You killed that freestyle, you know. man. You killed it. Because we dance a lot, so we know how the beat goes. You dance as well? I don't. Okay. Because <laughs> that, that was I'm next. G for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was next. Uh, yeah. Congratulations on your nomination. I'll Thank be out you. here um, this weekend in uh, Los Angeles, the BET Awards. I, I hope we make it a second time, you know, because I took the first one. Actually, I have two BETs. Why? Because they spelled my name wrong on the first one. So you, you, in 20, you won yeah. in 2012. Yes. You were nominated. I think so. 2012, yeah. You were nominated last year. Did you yeah. win that one? No, I didn't. Uh, Lost it to someone. Okay. Well, I, David O. I, shouts to David O. from Nigeria. I, I think that you're going to get it this year. Best international artist Bless from you. Ghana. Yeah. And I hear that, you know, a, a lot of uh, Ghanaians are on a come up, though. I, yeah. I didn't know Vic Mensa's family was from Ghana. Um, I relate to the name because the name is Ghanaian name. I don't know too much about. Maybe yeah. he's not from there. Maybe he's from there, but I don't know. But What's up with Akon? Akon is from Senegal. Akon's from Senegal. But Akon was like the 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 face. He, he, he was is, the African artist. He is still. Still? Yeah, to date. You know, because he's really? like, um, the the re representation of african you know making a dream here in in the states but that's changing because now we have somebody we have sar cody bless you i like i like you to say it more than me saying it so <laughs> you said it, people, he, she said it not that's me changing yeah. though yeah, yeah but, but akon is a legend you know that you know of course, he's doing a Akon's lot back a in africa he comes back to do shows you know he puts lots of us on he actually put me on you know way back yeah did the same thing for whiskey in, in nigeria yeah. A um, couple of guys in Africa as well. So he's actually giving back to Africans. And we respect him for that. As you are as well, you do a lot of philan philanthropic works. Um, uh, you're an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about some of your businesses. Um, this is where I'll stop it. I don't want it to be too long. I think um, this is where I'll stop it because I'm really enjoying this. And I don't mind even taking it long. But I don't know how if you guys will not get bored in between. So I decided to just stop it here. Um, guys, um, you guys have followed me to watch this. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this particular reaction. I really enjoyed this conversation. I could tell, you could tell that it has been very purposeful and his focus has always been there in the music thing. And he really knew where it was going. It's not like it was just a rapper without a goal or just an artist without a goal. He knew his team, he knew his message, he knew his style, he knew his purpose, he knew the end goal. You know, the picture has already been clear from, to Sakodi from the very beginning. His confidence, his aura, how he talks, everything. And you can tell from his how he's from the interview that he still gives props and respect to who props is due. Like see him shouting out to David, shouting out to Akon and any other person that he sees that has been doing well in the music thing. He gives props to who props is due. So you can't take it out Sakodi man. There's one the difference there's a difference between confidence and pride. Sakodi is confident. Confidence. That's the key word, confidence. He's not proud, he's humble, you can see how he talks, but his confidence, you can tell that he is proud of where he comes from. He knows what he got and he can defend what he has anywhere in the world. So anyway, guys, this is the end of my reaction to Sakodi's freestyle on Sirius um, YM or XM. And guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a comment, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And guys, I'll see my next music video reaction. Now, with that being said, my people, peace.